The Association of Kwara State Online Media Practitioners met with the new Nigerian People's Party NNPP senatorial candidate representing Kwara North, Dr. Kolo Babajia. I am uh, Dr. Kolo Babajia by name. Uh, I'm from Pada District, Gakwan precisely. Pada District in Patigi, local government area of Kwara State. And by that, you should know that I'm from Kwara North. Dr. Gia, while answering questions from journalists, described himself as being new in politics, having served for 35 years in the Nigerian Customs Service before venturing into business. You know, this is not the first time I will be attending to press. Several occasions I've attended to press. And I'm not ashamed of telling them that I'm new in politics. I have sat for 35 years just like what I told you earlier. And after my service, I went into business world. Dr. Gia noted that passion to serve remains the basis for his coming into politics. He also pointed out that his priority at the Senate will be seeking for the autonomy of local government as it would aid the development at grassroots levels. People that knows me, every of my investment I have is in Ilori here and in my village. There are people who, that are richer than me. There are senators that are contesting with me. Some of them are richer than me. But they don't have a single uh, 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 this thing, investment in their state. As I'm talking to you, at least I have more than 200 people that are on my payroll every month, young people. Of course, if I decide to keep that money, I eat it myself. I will eat that money. And nobody will ask me. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So I have the passion to help people. I have the passion. The only any time I see people, I put a smile in people's face. It gives me joy. And those are some of the things that ignited me to come into politics. That well, if I come into politics, I will have a greater opportunity. As a senator, I should be able to tell the federal government what belongs to us should come to us. You understand what I'm saying? While speaking on his intentions on poverty eradication, unemployment and other menace, Dr. Gia emphasized on strengthening traditional institutions as well as the security forces. One of the things I will do is to strengthen traditional institutions. We should strengthen traditional institutions. Then secondly, the security of Nigeria, police, is over stress. I think somebody was giving the data, we only have 350,000 policemen in Nigeria. Go to developed country, a policeman in some countries, one police to 100 people. In Nigeria, a police is to almost 10,000 people, if not more. One of the things I would continue to emphasize on is the autonomy of our local governments. We should, the autonomy of our local government is paramount. We shouldn't compromise it at all. Because the major population, the populace of these masses you are talking about, the youths, they are in local areas. And you know, it will shock you to know that most money that are meant for this local government didn't get to them. Dr. Gia therefore called on the people of Kwara North to try something new and different. He admonished them to vote NNPP in the coming elections. Betty Yudumusu, Stemma TV.